February the 20th, 2016, at the power plant, uh, a friend of mine was getting escorted out by three male officers, and I happened to have known one of the officers due to my, my prior job as a lifeguard. So uh, I tried to approach the officer, and like while I was walking towards the officer, his fellow officer approached me and grabbed me and told me to like basically to mind my business. But I was trying to explain to the other officer that I was just trying like to alleviate the situation because I knew the guy that was getting escorted and I also knew the officer. So uh, as I was trying to explain it to him, he continued to push me out the club and I was just trying to get a reason on why I was getting pushed out. And he pushed me twice and the second time he pushed me, he twisted my arm and slung me to the ground broke my arm and uh, said I was refusing arrest <laughs> and they locked me up put me in handcuffs that night I went to University of Maryland they ran x-rays on me and uh, they found out my arm was broken in two places and once they found that out the officers came back to the, uh, the ER room and told me that they were gonna let me go <laughs> due to what happened, my circumstances. They said, due to your circumstances and your situation, we're gonna let you go. And that was on a Sunday. It was Saturday night going on a Sunday. Uh, I had my surgery Tuesday morning and about uh, at around eight in the morning and around five that evening, two uh, officers from maternal affairs came to my, my bed and I got to give them a statement. And as they were walking out, they told me that I had a warrant out for my arrest on assault on two officers. So <laughs> it kind of like my whole family, it kind of like surprised my whole family. But this is, that was just ridiculous. And then that day, that was Tuesday. And Wednesday, they sent me to uh, Central Bookings. And when I was in Central Bookings, they, they didn't even give me my medicine. I tried to ask for my medicine because I was in pain. It was the day after my surgery. I tried to ask for medicine because I was in pain. They didn't give me any. They gave me an ibuprofen. They gave me ibuprofen. And uh, that was really a sad moment for me. Really, honestly. Honestly, it was. And that's basically all I can say about what happened to me. Now, it sucks. Because now I really have to walk around with a big plate in my arm for the rest of my life. Like, that really hurt. All because I was just trying to subtle situation, like calm it down. I didn't want Evan to get put out. I was a designated driver that night. Like I didn't want him to get put out. I didn't want anything. I didn't want none of this to happen. And then in the police report they say that I swung on the officers. I said I was swinging on the officers and they said we slipped on water. Like really? That's how we felt because we slipped on water and that's how he broke my arm. That's ridiculous. But that's really all I have to say about my story, my testimony. When the police came back up to the hospital, they kicked the whole family up. His mother, um, his father, none of us were allowed to see Aaron for, for like 24 hours. You yeah, the whole right? day, yeah. The whole day, the whole day, no family members were allowed, allowed in to see Aaron um, as they drew up these charges and then decided to take him to Central Bookings right after the surgery. Um, so this is the kind of culture that we're dealing with. Um, um, I'm going to open the floor now to any other stories. Is there anybody else that wanted to come up and share uh, their experience?